Asemla, Vastlakukul, Laskia Aspula or Fastlagsbula, Fasalavansbul is a traditional sweet roll made in various forms in Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Norway, Denmark, the Faroe Islands, Iceland, Latvia, and Lithuania associated with Lent and especially Shrove Tuesday in most countries, Shrove Monday in Denmark, parts of southern Sweden and Iceland or Sunday of Fasalavan in Norway. In Sweden it is most commonly known as just semla, plural, semlor, but is also known as fetistagsbulla, fat Tuesday roll. In the southern parts of Sweden, as well as in Swedish-speaking Finland, it is known as fastlagsbulla, plural, fastlagsbuller. In Norway and Denmark it is called fasalavensbull. In Iceland, it's known as a bola and served on baludagor. Semla served in a bowl of hot milk is hetvag. Topic. Etymology The name semla plural, semlor, is a loan word from German semel, originally deriving from the Latin simula, meaning flower, itself a borrowing from Greek semidalis, semidalis groats", which was the name used for the finest quality wheat flour or semolina. In the southernmost part of Sweden Scania, and by the Swedish-speaking population in Finland, they are known as fastlagsbulla. In Denmark and Norway they are known as Fasilavensbull Fastlagen and Fasilavan being the equivalent of Shrove Tuesday. In Scanian, the feast is also called Fasilan. In Finnish they are known as Laskia Aspula, in Latvian as Veja Kukas, and in Estonian as Vastlakukul. <laughs> Sweden, Finland Today, the Swedish Finnish semla consists of a cardamom spiced wheat bun which has its top cut off, and is then filled with a mix of milk and almond paste, topped with whipped cream. The cut off top serves as a lid and is dusted with powdered sugar. Today it is often eaten on its own, with coffee or tea. Some people still eat it in a bowl of hot milk. In Finland, the bun is often filled with strawberry or raspberry jam instead of almond paste, and bakeries in Finland usually offer both versions. Many bakeries distinguish between the two by decorating the traditional bun with almonds on top, whereas the jam filled version has powdered sugar on top. In Finland Swedish, semla means a plain wheat bun, used for bread and butter, and not a sweet bun. At some point Swedes grew tired of the strict observance of Lent, added cream and almond paste to the mix and started eating semla every Tuesday between Shrove Tuesday and Easter. Every year, at around the same time that the bakeries fill with semlor, the Swedish newspapers start to fill with semla taste tests. Panels of experts dissect and inspect tables full of semlor to find the best in town. Over the years bakeries have challenged the traditional semla, hoping to create the next big buzz. In 2015, the semelwrap took the Swedes by storm. Instead of the original semla bun, the dough is rolled out flat, filled with almond paste and whipped cream, then folded and eaten as a wrap. The pastry truly went viral in both social media and in several Swedish news feeds and it was not long before a horde of other bakeries around Sweden tried to copy the idea, hoping to beat the sales record. In Finland and Estonia the traditional dessert predates Christian influences. Laskiai Sununtai and Laskiaistiestai were festivals when children and youth would go sledding or downhill sliding on a hill or a slope to determine how the crop would yield in the coming year. Those who slid the farthest were going to get the best crop. Hence the festival is named after the act of sliding or sledding downhill, Laskia. Nowadays Laskiainen has been integrated into Christian customs as the beginning of Lent before Easter. Norway Fasilavinsbull consists of a cardamom spiced wheat bun which has its top cut off, and is then filled with whipped cream, topped with jam. The cut off top serves as a lid and is dusted with powdered sugar. The buns are served at Sunday of Fasilavin, but were previously associated with Shrove Tuesday. Denmark, Iceland The version sold in Danish and Icelandic bakeries on or around Shrove Monday is rather different, made from puff pastry and filled with whipped cream, a bit of jam and often with icing on top. At home people may bake a version more similar to a usual wheat roll, mixing plain yeast dough with raisins, succade and sometimes candied bitter orange peel. In Icelandic Shrove Monday is called Balutagor bun day, named after the pastry.
Topic: History The oldest version of the semla was a plain bread bun, eaten in a bowl of warm milk. In Swedish this is known as hetvag, from Middle Low German heat wagen hot wedges or German heiss wecken hot buns and falsely interpreted as hotwall. The semla was originally eaten only on Shrove Tuesday, as the last festive food before Lent. However, with the arrival of the Protestant Reformation, the Swedes stopped observing a strict fasting for Lent. The semla in its bowl of warm milk became a traditional dessert every Tuesday between Shrove Tuesday and Easter. Today, semlor are available in shops and bakeries every day from shortly after Christmas until Easter. Each Swede consumes on average four to five bakery produced semlor each year, in addition to any that are homemade. King Adolf Frederick of Sweden died of digestion problems on February 12, 1771, after consuming a meal consisting of lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, smoked herring, and champagne, which was topped off by 14 helpings of hetvag, semla, the king's favorite dessert. This was the sweet chosen to represent Finland in the Café Europe initiative of the Austrian Presidency of the European Union, on Europe Day 2006. See also Finnish cuisine Swedish cuisine List of buns List of pastries